Next, about the power flow analysis. Okay, so in this, we are going to understand that how actually the power is coming nugget to our lighting switchboards and how we are running our devices like laptops at present. So we are getting the supply from the substations. We're not coming from the generating plants. The supply to the substation comes from the generating. In different, different cities, in different, different areas, we have different, different types of generators. So we're not going to go into the, into the generating area. We are talking from the substation. So in every locality, in every society, based upon the demand, we have a substation. So what is mean by substation? Assembly of all your electrical, the switch gear and the control system devices is nothing but substation. So in this substations, what we get? We get power. So this power is classified into three types. One is the active power, apparent power, and the reactive power. About the power, we are going to discuss in the future classes in detail, along with some examples, along with the basic formulas. So at present, you can see that power is nothing but the product of voltage and current. Okay. So this power, we are getting to the transformer. Okay. So what is a transformer? Okay, what is a transformer? What is the basic function of a transformer? You can see the transformers on the roadside, in substations, in your projects. What is the basic thing? To step down the voltage and to maintain the frequency, you can say. So these transformers are classified into three types. One is a power transformer, distribution transformer, and the instrumentation transformer. So what is power transformer? If the capacity of transformer is more than 3 MVA, then in that case, we call it as power transformer. And this power transformers you can able to find only in substations, not at distribution site. Again, we have distribution transformers, the transformers which you can see on roads, which will provide you the supply okay, to your building. Those are your distribution transformer. Again, we have instrumentation transformers. So this is actually a type of transformer which will help you to measure the amount of current and the voltages. Okay, so in this instrumentation, we have classification called as current transformer and the potential transformer. After a transformer, we get the supply to the productive equipment like circuit breakers. Earlier, we used to have the fuses, but now it is outdated. We are going with circuit breakers. We have almost like five to six different types. Okay, we have miniature circuit breaker, molded case circuit breaker, air blast circuit breaker, vacuum circuit breaker, oil circuit breaker. Okay, again, the sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker also. We have different, different types of circuit breakers, but all the circuit breakers we are going to discuss in the future classes. Next, okay, we get the supply to the measuring equipment. Nothing but your energy meters against how much amount of power you are consuming based upon the tariff rate the department people will charge you. Okay, on monthly basis, you can see you'll be finding the electricity bill now. So that we are getting based upon the energy meter or the power consumption. Again, the supply comes to your distribution board. So based upon the type of project, you are going to propose the main distribution board or sub-main or distribution board. So this is the complete schematic flow of power. How actually we are getting the supply to our lighting switchboards to run your electronic gadgets, lights, fans, and the basic things. I hope it's very clear.